as a nation, we are divided. It's a sad truth, but it's the truth. And it's something I've been wrestling with for some time now. I don't like to think about it, but as of today, we are facing one of the greatest trials we have faced as a country since the Civil War. Brother fighting brother, father fighting son, dog fighting cat, something like that, I don't know. It's, it's brutal out there. And is there one person we can blame? That'd be too easy. No. We're all to blame for the way things are. And only we, collectively, can make it better. But we're too busy fighting each other on comment sections online over whether it's right for gays to marry or, you know, whether women should be represented in video games or whether trans characters should be represented in video games. It's, it's all just hogwash. It's hogwash, that's what it is. What really matters is freedom. Freedom. The freedom your country gives you to start those flame wars online. And we are squandering that freedom. Should be using it to hold hands together and sing Bruce Springsteen or uh, Leonard Skinner or uh, Johnny Cash something like that uh, what is the solution to this I bet you're wondering well you'd be surprised actually find it the most unlikeliest places video games one video game in particular has a certain level of nuance in capturing the socio-economic climate of our country in these fateful days. And that game is Saints Row 4. Puts you in the shoes of the President of the United States. And you might be wondering to yourself, well how can you make that like an interesting game? It's just going to be signed papers all day. Well, Saints Row 4 managed to do something special. And before I give too much away, I think I'll show you that now. And what we all have to remember is this. If you can't, if you can't see my shirt because of the way the lighting is, let me get a little closer. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. America rocks. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. America rocks. Don't you forget it. Now let's go play a video game. If you're hoping I'm going to keep that accent up, uh, you're in for a disappointment. Sorry folks, I'm not actually all that much of a patriot. I know, right? Tears. Tears everywhere. Before we get too tied up into politics and I get myself into another jam, let's just hop into Saints Row 4. By the way, in the first three games, you play a gang leader of this gang known as the Saints. And that same character becomes president in the fourth game. If you're wondering how a gang leader can go from, like, pushing drugs, shooting up people on the streets, and other criminal activities to going to president. Well, just look at our current one. <laughs> Fuck. I, I did that thing I said I wouldn't do. Oh, well. No, no going back now. <laughs> Aren't I a stinker? Oh, here we go. It is the truth universally acknowledged that every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried... That was the first Saints Row game. 
The people were confused. Were the same sociopathic killing machines hell bent on destruction? Or yes. puppish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. This game is very pop culture-y. Those guys are from the first three Saints Row games. Pierce and Shanti. I like Pierce, he's a funny fella. And the character with the, you know, face mask is obviously the player because you get to design your own character in these games and since I haven't gotten to design them yet, it's just a blank face for now. Schedule. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry, is this a counter terrorist operation or a Saints flow shoot? I'm shy. I'll show to come. Follow me. Time to do some spy shit. Which again business is not the normal genre of Saints Row, which is more just Grand Theft auto -y. Originally, Saints Row 1 was kind of seemed like a knockoff of Grand Theft Auto, but then 2, 3, and 4 really came to their own and brought their own unique stuff that Grand Theft Auto didn't have. That's our boss, always gotta be a hero. face kind of game. Base, are you there? What are we walking into? The intelligence I'm looking at is just... Hold on. Hide. Truck on its way. Wait a minute. Your hammer is... Is that Matt Miller? Kinsey, be nice. But seriously, what the hell? Matt Miller and Kinsey are exes. They have a complicated relationship. member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying. Hold that thought, Matt. Sneaky time. Going all SEAL Team 6 up in this bitch. Oh. Uh, it sure is popular these days to have uh, Islamic extremists as the villains. What are we, Call of Duty? Ha, huh, come on. I think since this game's often very satirical, it's more just making fun of that overdone formula. Guess what time it is, bitch? Stabby time. Die, you bitch. Whoa. 
got it. Come here, bitch. <laughs> Pierce goes hard. Way, Ow, I got sniped in the mouth. Fucking bitch ass dick clown coming up in my place shooting me in the face. Yeah, fucking right. Remember. Oh. Bam. Oh, snap. Boom. 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 Ah. Uh, don't fuck with her. It's good to have friends. It's running time. Woo, boom! This is a bad guy from the third game, I think. Cyrus. Ow. Oh, quick time event. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, that stab wound did not look pleasant. Stab wounds, I should say. Whoa. Boom. Keep that nerve. Oh, gave us a Terminator reference right there. Very nice. Alright, so I'm jumping on this missile to disable it, because this is just that kind of game. Yeah, that, that's that's Aerosmith, by the way. I remember when we first met. I was just a fun-loving girl in your oh. love, but you, you saw me as more than that. We sap at each other sometimes, and I don't always understand your methods, but there's no one I'd rather follow into battle. How's that for an intro, right? Uh, yeah. Don't worry, it gets weirder. A lot weirder. Zero Saints 30, ha ha ha. Seal Team 6 reference. The Adoration of America unlocked. Oh, I've been looking for that. Presidency unlocked. Press all buttons to initiate global thermonuclear war. Oh, nice. That's quite the cheat code. Uh, oh, it's giving me a template to create my character. I'm gonna make them look like me because I'm an unoriginal piece of shit. So this guy's the closest. We'll work from there. Let's make him kind of chubby. Maybe a little bit muscular. Eh, no, we'll just kind of make him... Yeah, let's be realistic. Sex appeal. Oh, that's what we're doing. I think when you're a girl, it's, you know, it's your boobs. But here, it's your junk. But let's, let's be realistic. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fair. We say America is a country of opportunity. 
A country where we are free to pursue our interests and follow our dreams. The one thing they don't tell you, that sometimes people judge you for following those dreams. For too long, the American people have suffered under the yoke. That of first voice is Troy Baker, by the way. Every last My fellow Americans, we've become a culturally bankrupt country. We ban books like Little Red Riding Hood. We recoil from classical art because it depicts the majesty of the human form. This we say on the campaign trail, I said I was going to accomplish. Nolan North, one of the best voice actors in the business. They just have a Nolan North option. I was going to be walking Let's see, Troy Baker or Nolan North? My fellow Americans, I know a lot of people. My fellow Americans, I know a lot of people have concerns. We say America is a country of opportunity. We'll go with Troy a Baker. Where we are free. All right, and now we get to pick a like a. Oh, this um, feel good. A compliment move to give to my uh, to give to people on the street and like my uh, gang members. Here we go. That one's pretty good. That's right, time to work it. Check you out. Oh, give it up. Hey, good to see you. Oh, Macarena. Might just I'm go with Macarena. Pet like Detective. That? Ace Ventura. A dirty little whore. Uh, watch nope. It. Better watch it. Wait, you That's wish you sweet. were half this cool. Coming at you. Oh, oh. You can't see me. The John you know Cena you reference. Try this. You think you can handle this? Yeah, that's what I thought. Looks very Johnny Bravo-y. I'm gonna go for it. I still feel like he looks too handsome. What am I gonna do about that? How do I ugly this fucker up? Let's at least make his cheekbones look- Oh, Jesus, this is... You know, fuck it. Well, there's our president. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple Here's of- Here's the latest poop. We lost 20 points, we can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get mad? Fuck no. Then I'm thinking you're in trouble. King, can you hear this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. I'm more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. Who's a septic truck when you need one? We've got enough Keep David for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Hmm. Uh, let's cure cancer. Cancer had a good run, but it's time to put it down. Good choice. I hope Kenzie's keeping the sharks at bay. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. Low road, high road. Punch a dick in the head, punch a dickhead. We're going the low road, baby! Allow me to retort. Hey, Doris, we still down for tennis? I'm your number! I think that was Nolan North too. He just gets into every video game, doesn't he? The man is just a national treasure of voice acting. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. Oh. I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right, I'll swing by after I. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, that looks like aliens. Ugh, they are some ugly motherfuckers. If I recall correctly, that's Tim Curry. 
Let me double check on that, the evil alien leader. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a time for fear, but a time for celebration. Today, the best and brightest among you will find salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kenzie, no! <laughs> your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? Splendid. Get off me! Fuck is the voice of Zinyak, man? Zinyak voice actor. Let's go. Zinyak. JB Blanc? Who the fuck is that? That's not Tim Curry. I guess I was wrong. Fuck. J.B. Blunt. I've never even seen that guy before. Oh, well, whatever. Sorry, J.B. Blanc, if you're watching this. Alright, well, let's get back to the fucking game, shall we? Let's go kill some aliens! Gotta go. Stop some aliens. Every five steps. Every five steps, I said. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All our war, by the looks of it. I'm meeting That's up with my Matt. kind of Be oval office. Be careful. What the fuck, Keith? Oh no, Keith what? David, Damn they it. got Keith David. I'm gonna beat the shit out of these aliens with my fist of justice. Boom! Sucker! I should just probably get out my gun. Alright. I'm trained for this! Here, spin! We gotta move! Ouch. Shit, play it! Save yourself! Fuck that! Save me! Oh. They're just kidnapping all my friends. Motherfucking aliens! You pissed off the wrong POTUS, assholes! I did this! POTUS. Ow, 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 what am I gonna heal? I'm still standing! Die, alien motherfucker! Ow, guys, get out of the way of my bullets. Jesus, friendly fire is a thing. And if you don't want to be a victim to it, get the fuck out of the way. Oh, jeez, what a mess. Holy shit, how many of you are there? Bird to Ernie, bird to Ernie. Activate sound and go defenses. <laughs> Let's do this, you beautiful Ooh. thing. Now that's all American! <laughs> Alright. Shoot these clowns out of the sky. I'll shoot down every last one of you! Stole my crew. You took my cabinet! You think you could come here and fuck with my country? This is for Lady Liberty. This one's for Uncle Sam! Ooh, yeah. What else y'all got for Uncle Nicky? Bring it on! What are you? Blow oh, jeez. Blew up the Washington Monument. Fucking asshole. Damn, I'm good. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, well, I guess at least it didn't smash into me or anything. That would have been awkward. Boom! Oh. Ow. Why do yeah. humans enjoy leaping so much? Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! Oh. We don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. Uh oh. The illusion's crumbling. What is going on? Where the fuck am I? Haha, <laughs> there's 
These people aren't ah! real, so there aren't any consequences for running Kinsey. them over. Kinsey, Woo. where are you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free? From, from what? I need some more time before I can get you out. Ooh, kill cops. Be if you could just, you know, just be you. Fuck the police. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. Boom, nut shot, bitch. Guess I'll shoot random civilians too in the meantime, because I don't know. Why the heck not? Golly. Woo! Oh, wrong person. There we go. That guy's still alive? Fucking die, you bitch. Are we good? You need to do more. Bigger! Hold on, I'm sending you something. Oh. Jeepers, this is peachy. Boom, ow. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Oopsie daisy. Did I do that? <laughs> Ow! Got taken out by a newspaper machine. You're doing great. The simulation is. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a what? What's going on? Oh shit, it's a super cop! Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Oh, it's it's the alien Zinyak. He's the sheriff of the town. Okay, I should probably just take him out with a rocket launcher. I need to get some help before I fucking die. God damn it, dude. Whoa, he has super speed. Die, you bitch. Just that good. Fucking super sheriffs. There we go. Peace out, business. Fucking evil alien overlords, man. They're all the same. Fighting back is pointless, my friend. There's no way to run. You belong to me. Now, on to more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you have it? ETFN, what an asshole. My friends, each of you are guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be wardens of Simulation 31. 
You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. What are they, the media? <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. Hiya! Also, this game has great melee moves. You can just run up to people and do crazy moves like this. Boom! You know, like those mobile devices all the kids have these days. Cool. Can I play games on it? No. Sad. Oh, my bad, everyone. My bad. This is a simulation, so I don't need to feel guilty unless you know. They're like me living in the simulation, so they can, so that they also die in real life, which is a bummer. But until that's proven, fuck it. And changing me out of these ridiculous clothes isn't a basic hack. On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head. Same. That was that big dome. Hmm, not sure. I'll have to look into that. Zinyak put his people all over the city here. From what I can see, a lot's been taken over by the Zin. There's alien technology everywhere. You've got to be enjoying this. Just a little. Oh, I know. What are... You think the whole White House was destroyed? I don't know. Maybe. Why? I was thinking if it was, we could get Ultor to rebuild it. You know, add more defenses, more weapons, a few underground jet hangers. Are you serious? Well, maybe in a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. More? <laughs> you already had some stripper poles? I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <laughs> wow. If you... Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. I just, oh man, I am such a klutz with driving. Ouch. There we go. Now let's lock and load, mofos. Uh, hope you got something useful. Uh oh. The are swarming your location. Holy. Uh, haven't they heard of the Second Amendment? Zinyak's running this place. I don't think the Constitution holds any weight here. Fucking A. See, this is what Americans really need to unite against. Not each other. Not. The alt right or anti fa or antifa, however you fucking prefer to pronounce it. But aliens, that's the real threat to our country. So now and do I mean illegal aliens? Well, no, I mean aliens from fucking space, you piece of shit. Now I got some guns, and now I stole a police cruiser. Ooh, hang on. I wanna. I want to get some, uh, get a better outfit than this. There, now we're pretty tricked out in Nick attire. Hiya! Drop kick to the face. Hiya! Hiya! Oh, that poor hobo lady. Boom! Can I do my cool move? Hey, good to see you. There we go. Macarena, 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 Macarena. And I guess that's a little bit of jump on it. Excuse me, this is the president and it's an emergency. I need to commandeer your vehicle. Have a nice day, ma'am. These data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Well, that sounds like some Mr. Robot Hacker talk to me. A little me bit over my head. Where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but oh, I marked the see. general areas for you. Um, okay. Watch your proximity meter to oh, see if I you're found closer one. to the cluster or farther away. Ouch. Don't mind if I do. I think I got one, Kenzie. You sure this thing's safe? Getting super powerful! Is this the this data is amazing. Da, 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 da. Incredible. Amazing. 
I know I'm gonna regret this, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation Oops, supposed to use data that can be incorporated into your programming. Good thing I don't drive I like this in reality. <laughs> the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. I would have a lot yeah. of gibberish, stripes yeah. on my it's license. Simple. I wouldn't even have a license get, at this the point. You can upgrade and alter your abilities. Now we're talking the same language. All right, so the game's talked about abilities and all that, and um, instead of just starting from the beginning more or uh, working from where we are now, I'm gonna jump ahead and show you where I eventually end up. Because let me tell you, you pretty much become a superhero. Though this old Nick I created doesn't have the exact same facial hair, so hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. Whoa! Yeah, he's a little skinnier back then. All right, so we're in space, and I gotta enter the simulation. It's not really worth explaining. Uh, it's complicated, but we're in space, and never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about. It. Don't ask questions. Hopping in, just like the Matrix. All right. Woo! Here I is. All right, check this out. Look at that. Look at that. For the super speed. I don't even need a fucking car anymore. I run faster than fucking the fastest car. Boo! Oh man. Look at that. Glitching this shit out, bro. Oh, ouch. Okay. I also have uh, super strength. Oh, ow. Ouch. Okay, hang on. Watch this. Hey, person. Boom! Boom! It's like cheat codes. Ooh. Boom! Oh, that's gotta hurt. Ooh. Glitching this shit out. Ooh. Get him! Boom! Shakalaka. Oh, the aliens are not happy with me right now. Ooh, I got a rat stick baseball bat uh, with nails in it. Just like Negan. Boom! Oh man, that's cool. Okay. Let's see what other alien lasers I've got. Wait, is that it? I've got an abduction gun. You basically aim it at someone and then it sucks them into the sky. I also got a black hole launcher. Sucks people into a black hole. Pretty straightforward. And everything else into a black hole, too. I have telekinesis. Look at this. I'm using my telekinesis. Woo! Oh, I was gonna shoot it. Alright, how do I. There it goes. Bye. Ox. Alright. Bob the Builder, can he fix it? Bob the Builder. Mmm. Get guess not. Heads up! That's why I get paid the big bucks. Batter up! Oh, hot dog guy. I love you, hot dog guy. Wake up, please. I'm sorry. I have an anger management problem. I'll shoot him into space. That's what he wrote in his last will and testament. Farewell, hot dog man. You'll always be remembered. Let's, um... Oh! Enter the dominatrix. This is a good one. Things get a little kinky from here, folks. What comes next? Uh, a lot of bullshit filler missions. I think there must have been like four escort missions in a row. It was so bad. Take Pierce to Terminal A. Protect Kinsey while she does nebulous task X. 
guards Shandi while she drives to the widget factory? Ugh, that was the worst. That widget factory mission was fucking painful to sit through. Worse than that Nightblade reboot. So anyway, we jump through an arbitrary number of hoops trying to track down this dominatrix, and lo and behold, we find her. In a sex club, how shocking. That was our idea. We're going to a sex club, so little kids might want to cover up your eyes. Just kidding, little kids better not be watching why this. Why do I have to wear this again? To blend in. Oh, oh look why at are that! You wearing your regular clothes. Please, they know me. Look at that. So how do we get the Jeepers! I don't even know if YouTube's gonna. Champion nah, Dom YouTube probably won't well. censor this. Dildo bat. Champion is named Dom. Yeah. You make that sound weird. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm the one making. Oh, uh, check this out. Check this out. Throne of Dildos. Sick chair. Hey there, your uh, domness. Moment of your time. The Dom recognizes the smartly dressed newcomer. Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh, so I need to see the Dominatrix. Any idea where I can find her? If you wish to see the Dominatrix, you must prove your worth. Tend to my animals. Your an animals? The Dom's plushly adorned submissives. Put them back in their cages. Oh. 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 Bye. Time to wrangle some furries. Haha, <laughs> kinkadelic. Over here, fuzzy britches. I gotta shoot them into their cages. In you go. Woo! This game, yeah, definitely subtle. Not in your face at all. Wrangling furries. Oh. Nope, that's a stool. Come back here, you. Yeah, boy. Who could be? It's a little bit demeaning for people that are actually into that, but whatever. Get over here, Spragler. And done. All right, I caged your pets. Where's the dominatrix? Not yet. You must now prove your willingness to please. Fuck me. That's up to the client. You'll see the second floor. Make sure he is pleased. <laughs> Just keep telling yourself this isn't real. It's just a simulation. But make him feel special. This must Did somebody order a sex slave? Hello? Yo! Open the door! Oh no! It's an auto tune guy. Zemos? Oh shit! I didn't know you were here. I I don't. Oh god. Oh shit! I can't do this. But if you haven't gone pro, then why are you here? I need to speak with the dominatrix. So Dom the Dom told me I had to. to but <laughs> no, no way. I mean, you know, no, no offense. It'd be like fucking my cousin. Look, I see you did a good Oops. job. Just don't tell anybody you saw me paying for ass. Oh my <laughs> god! Awkward. I wonder why Zemos and the boss couldn't look each other in the eye after this. There you go. I'm done. The client has been pleased. Back so soon. I hope you got your money's worth, Zemos. Oh yeah. I really like the way they use their pinky. Uh oh. The dominatrix only meets with champions. A chariot race is starting soon, and it's attracted the best racers in the world. A take chariot out the race? Ooh, pocket. fancy. You mean take out, like, kill, right? Hiya! Alright. I'm a little vinyl pony! I'm a little vinyl pony! I'm a vinyl pony! Alright, well, that takes care of them. Gotta take out the rest of the competition. A winner! You are the best! Ooh. Gonna do this level a little bit longer, then I'll show you one more thing of downloadable content that's pretty great. I think this needs new batteries. Feeling frisky. That is one powerful dildo bat. If I had a dollar for every time I said that, I'd have at least seven dollars. You'd be surprised how often dildo bats come what up in everyday conversation. Uh, I'm preparing. Oopsie daisy, did I do that? 
I did. Spoiler alert. Sorry, Zemo. I didn't mean to hit you. The competition has been eliminated. Where's this race happening? <laughs> oh, you fool! Those amateurs never stood a chance. I'm a tool. You'll need to defeat the dog. You used me. You fucking used me. You are a submissive. You are made to be used. Come, my submissive. Uh -oh. Come to your dog. Beat all your asses in a bad way. A way you will not like. Jeez, I feel like this is like kink shaming the game. Ice to meet you. Ooh, gonna shoot my black hole gun. Oh, bye. Take care of your toys, Dom. Before I am through, you'll be begging for your life. Your insubordination will not go unpunished. <laughs> you villains in your But you still have to win the race if you want to see the dominatrix. Zemos! To me! Ah. Man, this is bullshit! We ride! Oh. So, now we're on a kinky Mario Kart-esque racetrack. Wow, I never thought I'd be called upon to commentate a pony car racing, Zach. <laughs> me neither, Bobby. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is against my contract. We have an exciting race ahead of us. Uh, you might almost say it's going to be titillating, Bobby. <laughs> Welcome to the 31st Annual Pony Cart Invitational. Brought to you today by Leather and Lace. And speaking of Leather and Lace, they provided the head of the Saints and his pony with their outfits today. And what fine apparel that is, Zach. I have to say, though, I wish I had the figure to pull something like that off. Yeah. I know I don't. I hear you, Zach, but... As good as it may look, I can't imagine that's very comfortable. I hate to think how bad I must shape after a long day at the track. Now myself, I prefer the soothing touch of a poly cotton blend. Well, I've always been more of a satin man, Bobby. The way the fine weave caresses my skin is pure, man. I bet it is. Rusty's new trombone has some heat. <laughs> and another one. Oh, the there gun. goes a contestant, Bobby. Talk it up. Another racer eliminated. Jeez, this furry sure can take a lot of bullets to the face. Okay, there he goes. Alright, anyways, you guys get the picture. Kinkadelic. Pew! Hopefully YouTube won't be too unhappy with that. I'm sure they'll be fine. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Tis not our place to question the will of the YouTube gods! Now for that other game mode how the saints saved christmas for nearly a decade we've watched the saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature in that time we've seen how the saints rose to power we've seen how the saints enact vengeance we've even seen how the saints united both humanity and velociraptors but for the first time ever i share with you their most important story yet for this, my friends, mm. is how the saints saved Christmas. Yep. I don't even know what that means. What sort of childhood did you have? I just think there's more important things to think about than some bullshit holiday. Looks like someone never got on the nice list. Yeah, it's just the thing. There is no nice list. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, Festivus? You don't care about any of it? That's right. You don't like the songs. Nope. You don't like the gift giving? I already take whatever I want. I said giving. Whatever. You don't get excited about setting up the Nightblade Nativity every year? Uh, that's slightly intriguing, but no. What about Santa? Fuck Santa. Oh. What's happening? Were we hit? No, the proximity alarm didn't go off. This is something different. Oh. 
Whoa. Robot person. Shandy? Fuck me. We don't have a lot of time. Claws is coming. What? Oh, Shandy from the future. From my time. She lost an arm. By the time we learned about him, it was too late. He was oh. too powerful. The only chance we had to stop him was to send me back here to warn you. Oh, wait. If you could go back in time, why didn't you go back even further and warn us about Zenyak? Isn't that a little more important? You don't get it. This isn't about Earth. Come midnight, Christmas Day, Santa Claus is coming to town, and unless we stop him, he is going to put the universe on the naughty list. And trust me, Ooh. you don't want to be on the naughty list. Sorry I asked. So Santa's evil? No, Zinyak's had Santa trapped for decades, slowly but surely degrading his mind. If we don't free him soon, it'll be too late, and he'll never be jolly old Saint Nick again. Guys, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, I'll save Santa. Hmm. Yep, it's it's uh, it's a Saints Row Christmas. No, it's not really the uh, time oh, of the year for Lord. it. It's only September, but yeah. thanks, Kenzie. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit. Check out this fucking exist. sick fashion. You bring it back. You wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. Are you serious? Come on, the town department store is just ahead. It's like the 1950s world. Also, I don't have my superpowers. I can only do baby leaps. This is fucking bullshit. Oh, I shouldn't say that because I'm in Santa world and I imagine he won't be too happy about that. The evil Santa, not the normal one. This is my fastest running speed. Oh! They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 shot range model air rifle. You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> Christmas story reference. What have you done? Come on. Is this about being naughty? You have no idea what that causes. Look. Those who are naughty, look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claws. Uh, oh, fudge. Come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread man. Oh. Uh-oh. Jeez, these gingerbread men can take a lot of headshots. Screw it. Time for a little crimson cowboy action. Wait! Claws is still too strong, and you'll shoot your eye out! <laughs> I was wondering if they were gonna make that reference and they didn't disappoint. Gotta take down Sandy Claws. Mother, father, and gingerbread men. Just pistol whipped a gingerbread man in the dick. It's the kind of game we're dealing with. Not the gumdrop buttons! <laughs> you know what I'm referencing. Alright, let's go fucking shoot claws out of the sky. If we can catch him and take him out with a fucking... Kid's toy gun. Ow, damn it, that hurt. Ow. Santa? Is it really you? I always warn children about the dangers of such toys. But why do you look so thin? The holiday spirit doesn't exist here anymore. Claus made sure of that. So, Santa, how do we stop him? Start by ringing the holiday bells in the town park. That should bring a little spirit back to the people. So, Santa's pretty much um, been starved to death, and there's an evil Santa Claus that's pretty much taken over the world, so... Ring the bells and then let's kill Claus. My dear Shandy, don't let your metallic parts turn your heart Cold as well. Oh, we giant nutcracker! The spirit you felt when you were younger. You know my name, Santa. 
have no choice but to harden myself to fight the war. I, I forgot how I used to be. Don't worry. That same girl is still inside you. In fact, I'll bet there'll be a brand new hockey sack under the tree for you this year. Ooh, a hockey sack. Thanks, Santa. Ah, I got my guns back. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. No time for that Christmas story nonsense. We're locking and loading with the real shit. Oh, the Christmas spirit is flowing through my veins like fire. I don't know. I don't know. I hope Santa and future Shandy can keep up. Bells began there we go. ringing in the cheer, but more needs to be done. I don't understand any of this. All right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. You guys get the picture. It basically, if you want to know, um, maybe you don't want to know. Uh, you kill evil Santa Claus at the end, obviously, and then Zinyak in the original game, you kill him too. And yeah, and you kill the Dominatrix in the Dominatrix DLC. So, as you can see, it's quite the romp, and, um, you know, you play the president, though it's not very presidential, because you run around shooting stuff, and most presidents don't do that, except, uh, Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson did that a lot with Native Americans. So I hope y'all enjoyed the wacky antics I got into in the goofy, whacktacular game of Saints Row 4. Um, they do make a game, they made a game more recently called Agents of Mayhem, which is similar in style, but it didn't quite have the oomph of the Saints Row game. So if you see Agents of Mayhem, eh, it's got funny moments, but I think Saints Row is still better in my personal opinion. Anyways, that's this pad's plays. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. And remember, Santa watches you while you sleep. No, that's a dumb, that's a dumb way to end it. Let me, let me try that again. Anyways, that's the end of this pad's plays. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. And remember, America rocks, bruh. Yeah, bruh. <laughs>